Howlet the Heaven's Blade is the next of many 100 cost units in War of the Visions. But besides having an epic name, Howlet also has access to a very unique kit. In this video, I'm going to share some important information about Howlet so that you can decide whether or not you should be pulling on his banner. I'll be upfront with you guys. I don't think a lot of people are going to be pulling for Howlet. He's just not going to be this game breaker. And I think that he's actually missing a lot of the features that are staples in competitive units. But at the same time, he's very unique. I think he brings a fresh idea of how to be competitive in the current meta. So let's talk about it. Howlet should be a great damage dealer once he gets into range. He has ample penetrations, 60% innate slash penetration, and 40% more on his runeblade sub through the drain evocation skill. His spirit penetration is a little bit trickier as you have to drop his majestic mannerisms passive, which gives 20% slash resistance. But the plus side of that is that when you take the spirit penetration, you will also be building for accuracy as well. Howlet has a 30% slash resist imperil on his main kit, and he can attack with both magic and slash attacks to bypass resistances. Multiple barrier breaks means that he won't stall against some targets, and I will mention that he has an ice imperil on his runeblade sub, but it is a TP skill which means it's relegated to be mostly a PvE action. Howlet also has a very high magic stat in general, and magic damage up on his sword, meaning that he should pack a punch when facing most targets. Howlet's durability is where his kit is quite unique. His survivability comes through all damage barriers and HP absorption. He has innate healing power up and you'll want to grab more of that from his trust stones too. Not only does Howlet heal a percentage of the damage that he deals, he also bestows that effect to his allies as well. He also has 25% AoE resistance, although that drops to 10% when he's below 70% HP. The extra 15% comes from the new sword flowering, which we'll talk about later. It should also be noted that Howlet has terrific strike and slash resistances and can easily get to 100% slash resistance. However, against enemies with high penetrations, barrier breaks, and healing power down, Howlet will be in trouble. Howlet's utility is also quite unique. His prodigious swordsmanship passive makes all of his hits dispel haste, but also he has a full dispel tied to his heavenly diffusion AoE attack. This AoE attack also decreases the slash and magic attack penetration of the target by 40%, enabling his high slash resistance builds to work, if he gets that off. It should be noted that Howlet does not have any 100% hits on his kit, but he does have decent accuracy. Hitting evasion units should not be an issue if you specifically build for it. At this point, according to my script, I'm supposed to remind you all that if you haven't already, you can like the video because those metrics really do help. Throw a comment down there. You made it this far. I appreciate it. Now, Howlet does have some cons that we do need to discuss. His low mobility paired with low range, low height range, and lack of AoEs means it will take him a while to engage. This means that there's more time to buff, but it also means that he has more time to be attacked by your opponent. He has no access to courage or re-raise, and he also can't remove those from the enemy, which is a pretty big gap in a new unit's kit. Now, Howlet will start the battle with 50% of his max AP, which is an improvement over many units, but he also doesn't have access to AP consumption down or acquired AP up. This isn't a major con, but it is something to keep in mind for guild battle. That said, his short attack range may mean that he can build up a good store of AP. And finally, I already mentioned this, but watch out for units with barrier breaks and healing power down, as both of those effects will cripple Howlet's survivability. Compared to other magic damage dealers, Howlet's stats look really good. His HP and agility are respectable, and he gets even more agility from his VC. He has a huge magic stat as well, and his accuracy is above average. He has some really nice resistances for targeting strike and slash teams. And I just think overall that he was given a very good stat line for a 100 cost without any glaring weaknesses aside from maybe his lack of options for spirit penetration. We can talk about equipment starting with Howlet's TMR. It's a fantastic anti-evasion piece. It's not worth picking up solely for that of course, but it's good if you do have it. If you don't have this, remember you can use TMRs like Raldor's, Camilo's, Miranda's Sweethearts, and Yurma's for some extra accuracy. And please annihilate me in, this, in the comments if I missed any other TMRs with accuracy abilities. 
We also have a new sword this week called the Flowering, which is for Hallet. It is a very good sword that gives him more slash pen, but also some needed damage uh, and some AoE resistance on that exclusive passive. The sword also works for many other units, so definitely take a look to see if you can use this on anybody else. I, for one, am looking forward to using this on my Terra. Uh, and if Spirit Penetration is a concern, you technically could farm for Terra Sword right now, but you'd likely be better off using the Silver Rimmed Spectacles accessory instead. Howlett also has a vision card out this week, and the global buff gives him 10% agility, which is no joke. It also gives him more slash resistance on the bestowed effect, and the party effect gives him more power and really gets his anti-strike setup going. I think this card is mandatory specifically if you'd like to target strike teams, but if you're not doing that, then you could just skip it. But don't forget, you could pull it and then slow build it using hard quests, monthly medals, and the Mog Shop. And now it's time for our meta report from the JP meta using WarTheVisionStats.com. And he's not seeing a ton of play in the JP meta, but he is seeing a little bit of play. We can see here that on attack teams over the last few days, he's been seeing around 40, 39, 34 times. On defense, it's a little bit less here, 14, 9, 16. So not as much on defense. Of course, that's easier to target when he's on defense. These numbers are not big compared to other units. Specifically, when we look at Bradley, he's used 225 times in the last day on attack and then 221 on defense. Likewise, Sephiroth is at 325 on offense and then 520 on defense. Now, these are just meta compositions that are very good at taking on a lot of different elements. And of course, there's going to be a little bit of discrepancy when you have these limited units against non-limited units. But still, it is important to see what people are playing in JP uh, and the fact that they are not specifically playing Howlett uh, a ton. He's not so important that people have figured out, well, he's the character that we have to be using. But when we go back to see what people are using with Howlett, we can see there's uh, quite a few options here. So he obviously pairs very well with Reagan. There's the, uh, the same job category there that we can use, but he's also being used with the new Jaden as well. Uh, the Velus uh, will be, the Velus huh, will be a very good combination uh, with any other ice units. Uh, just to have some sustain and it also works with Hallett's healing power up so that's something that you can consider but we even see down there uh, a defense team that faints Bradley at the start uh, and then has Howlett and then Jaden behind that. And so we've reached the end of the video and we have to decide whether or not we should be pulling for Howlett and given the schedule is out of whack and that we don't really know what's coming next it's going to be pretty hard for people to be pulling for Howlett and the fact that he's a regular pool unit anyway means that he's easier to skip because you know these spenders are going to be planning on picking him up with a ticket later and many free to play players are going to be deluding themselves that they'll be able to off banner him at some point. So I personally don't recommend pulling for Howlett unless you are a very dedicated ice player or you are interested in the increasingly competitive category red mage job uh, team. Like most units in War Divisions, Hallet is very strong, but he's not going to be destroying the meta anytime soon. So you don't need to get desperate and try to pull for him, especially with summer units and likely other things coming down the pipeline here uh, in July uh, slash June. I hope this video was useful for you. And if it was, you can let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you all soon enough in another video. Thanks for watching this one.